Which score is relatively better? A 56 in a class where the average is 65 and a standard deviation is 8, or a 72 in a class where the average is an 80 with a standard deviation of 7. Okay, so when they ask us to figure out which score is relatively better, um, that's a common ap application of z-score. So we want to make a comparison between these two test scores, right? But we want to make a comparison based on um, the mean and standard deviation for the group that those students um, took the exam with. So we don't want to compare them directly because otherwise we'd say obviously a 56 is worse than a 72. So in that case, a 72 is the winner. But we want to make a comparison that's more fair because we all know that sometimes some classes are harder than others and it all depends on um, the average and the standard deviation. There are certainly other factors, but that's at least one consideration. Okay, so what you want to do is probably organize the information in the problem under a list. So I'm going to say student one and student two. So I'm just putting the information from the problem where I can get at it easily. So a 56 in a class, so that means the student one's score was a 56 where the average in that class was, so we're going to say that the mean for that class was 65. And the standard deviation is 8, so the standard deviation was 8 for that group. Now, for student 2, we also need the same items, right? So the score for student 2 was a 72. In a class where the average was 80, and the standard deviation was 7. Okay, so the first thing we want to pay attention to here is the fact that um, both students did below average, so we should make the comparison. Obviously, if one student was above average, the other was below average for his class, um, the above average student would be the winner right away. But um, we, both, we see that both of these scores are below their class averages. So the question is, who did better, right? All right, so let's fill in the z-score formula for student one and see what his z-score would be for the performance he had on that test. So x bar, or x, sorry, is 56, minus the mean, that's 65, divided by the standard deviation of 8. And then for student 2, we have x minus the mean, divided by standard deviation. And filling in that formula for that student, it's 72 minus 80, divided by 7. Okay, so let's look at um, this student's difference here. So this student was nine points below average, so we end up with a negative nine divided by eight. And this student was negative eight units below average divided by seven. Let's figure out from there what that gives us, of course, as a decimal. So if we do that, we end up with nine divided by eight, which ends up giving us 1.125 below average, so negative 1.125. We'll talk about that interpretation of that score in a minute. And then, of course, 8 divided by 7 ends up giving us negative 1.143. All right, so these numbers are pretty close to one another, right? They're not too far apart, but certainly if we put them on a number line, we can see putting zero there in the center of the number line, we can see that negative 1.13 or negative 1.125, this value would be here. And this value, negative 1.14, is just a little bit further to the left. Just a little bit further to the left of this one, right? And what that means is that since the better scores go to the right, so the higher scores are to the right-hand side of the curve, this score here is the winner. It's the higher score. So we're going to go ahead and say that this number is actually the better score, so student one is the winner. Look at their values. Neither one of them did unusually poor on the test, right? They both did below average, which is reflected by the negatives, but um, this guy just did a little uh, less below average than this guy. Of course, neither one of them is unusually below average, right? We didn't, neither one of them got below, say, two standard deviations below average. Um, but certainly he's a little bit lower than this guy, so we're going to say student one is the winner.